I think anyone who comes and visits us can feel it. You can't advertise it, you can't talk about it. It's very, very hard to encapsulate, but it is a feeling. And it is seeing the students interact with each other and knowing each other's names and saying hello, whether they're five or 17, saying hello to each other as they pass. It's seeing teachers and students interact, you know, incidentally, not nobody's on show. It's just seeing us as we are. We have a high academic bar and everybody manages themselves independently and with determination. People who come on site and see us, A, are very surprised at the quality of our facilities. They're always very surprised at how big our campus is for so few in number. Um, but the second thing is the culture, the emotion, the connections, um, the relationships. It's hard to describe what it is about Girls Grammar. I describe it as having a golden heart. But there's something quite addictive about it. People get hooked on Girls Grammar. They become, uh, you know, very focused on its, on its story. They like belonging to Girls Grammar. So we're talking about people who don't even have children. You know, we have a lot of supporters who are just interested in the historic nature of the house or the, the place of the school in the history of the community. But the girls give back too in very real ways. And we're heavily involved in community events and that keeps us connected to the Rockhampton broader community as well. So there isn't a week where we're not raising money for a, for a group or raising awareness for a group or you know, we're, we're the honour guard for the Anzac Day Dawn service every year. Um, the girls are very proud of, of those roles that they play as being community contributors um, and they take that responsibility very seriously. I think being a Girls Grammar Girl for Life it is absolutely a truth, but what is beautiful about it is that it's humble. It's not uh, arrogant because being a girls' grammar girl means you understand that you're part of a much bigger story. So for, particularly for adolescents, that allows them to focus on something bigger than themselves. It's not just their story. And so they're not as selfish as adolescents can be. They're part of a much bigger story and they contribute to that story through what they bring to girls' grammar and what they take from girls' grammar. And it is a, a, a wonderful continuum. So right from prep, there is that sense of belonging at Girls Grammar and belonging to something much, much bigger than yourselves.